डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इज नॉट ऑन ट्रैक इफ यू आर स्ट्रगलिंग इफ यू हैव लॉस्ट द रिदम द फ्लो आफ्टर द पोस्टपोनमेंट दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू आई बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द स्ट्रेटेजी एंड द प्लान फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन बट बिफोर आई टॉक अबाउट द स्पेसिफिक्स हाउ एग्जैक्टली टू गो अबाउट इट आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स और राइट when we are preparing for an exam like neat pg i don't really have to tell you what is at stake the rank that you got get in this examination which will decide your branch as well as your college of course your entire career and a, a significant aspect of the rest of your life depends on what is going to happen in this exam of course no single exam can decide your destiny or what you end up doing in life but as doctors we realize the branch that we get into the college that we get into does have a significant impact on what we end up doing why why am i telling you this you already know about this i am just trying to remind you that what is at stake it's not just another exam what you do in this exam is going to decide many things in your life so the stakes are pretty high and what exactly are you doing today what exactly are you doing nowadays students tell me that sir since the postponement or even before that i was not able to study properly i am not able to sit for more than 30 minutes i keep on talking to my friends or i keep doing different things i have always said this that if you are somebody who is going to appear for the exam if you are an intern or a post intern if you are about to appear for this exam when you go out when you meet your friends when you spend hours watching web series on netflix or amazon prime when you spend hours scrolling on instagram or other social media does that even make you happy isn't it that, that there is a voice within your head which keeps telling you that you should not be doing this you should not be wasting time so you are doing things which are not product productive and you are not able to even enjoy how is it that how is it helping you if if somebody could come and tell me that sir i am done with my studies i have gotten the mbbs degree and it's a pretty decent degree of course it's a decent degree i'll be practicing as a gp and i am pretty satisfied with it i don't want to get into the rat race i would say congratulations you have found your peace that's amazing very few people are able to achieve that but are you one of those are you one of those people who is happy with whatever you have achieved till today if you are great you don't have to even watch this video but if you are a person who wants more who is still not satisfied who wants to get that md degree who wants to get that ms degree who wants to become a specialist if you are a person who avoids watching toppers interview because they make you overwhelmed you feel pressured when you watch those videos if you are a person who when you know driving looks at the big medical colleges buildings and you know gets that feeling that i wish i was inside i wish i was doing that branch if you are that person who is aspirational if you are a person who looks up to the seniors who have cracked the examination or doing good or if you are a person who looks at his or her own batchmates who are doing great or getting good results and at some place wants to be like them if you are that person then there is no point running away from that reality if there is a burning desire in your heart then you have to work accordingly if there is that burning desire in your heart nothing else is going to bring you peace but studies no matter how many hours you spend on social media or watching web series or movies it's not going to bring peace to you because in your own heart you know that that is not what you should be doing what your final aim is not getting served by these behaviors so my my whole point is that if this is not making you happy and if is if this is not taking you towards that goal let's do something which is at least taking you towards the goal it's not going to be easy of course studying and sitting for hours and hours it's not easy it's frustrating it, it you really feel bad about it at times but the other thing is also not giving you any happiness the at least studying will take you towards your goal why not try it why not do it so 
if you are in search of peace or if you are in search of happiness and if your goal is clear then the only thing that will bring you peace and happiness is studies do not waste time when i say things like this the immediate question and the immediate thought that comes in the mind is sir you are right but i have already wasted so much time what now my dear students not only for the entrance examination but for life in general you have to make this a rule your brain should be focusing only on things that are under your control what happened yesterday is no longer under your control but what happens today and what happens tomorrow is under your control this is a flaw of human thinking the moment we have to the moment we get motivated the moment we decide to do something immediately a thought strikes but but i have already wasted so much time what now you don't you have not wasted too much of time there is enough time left as as you are watching this video at the point that you are watching this video more than 100 days are left or almost 100 days are left that's a significant amount of time my dear students why i am not just saying this because for the sake of saying i have i have very solid reasons behind it i have said this thing hundreds of times in videos that entrance examinations like medical entrance examinations are always very heavy on facts they are always very heavy on facts and the capacity of human brain to hold the rote information the factual information is always limited so somebody who had read something say 8 months back may may not remember anything about it of course that person will take lesser time to revise but it's not there in your head it's not it's not there in that that person's head people tend to forget and that is why every year we see people who start late but who are able to peak very nicely they are the ones who end up getting better results than those who started very early but could not peak if if i could just make a graph say say you were preparing for last one year and your preparation was going good 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 and this is how you prepared on the other hand somebody who started very late say here or here but could peak very nicely could peak very nicely right if you look at the area under the curve maybe this guy ended up doing better peaking is very important and now that we are like 3 months 3 and 1/2 months away from the examination this is the right time to start and peak like 1 1 and 1/2 month before the examination so no you are not too late even if you are starting preparation today even then it is not too late if your aim is to get into rank, into top 10 rank probably it's late if your aim is to get into top 50 again probably it's late but if you if you are happy getting rank 500 or 1000 or 5000 you have got all the time in the world so it's not late even if you start today it's not late if you had read something in the past you did not revise it you do not remember anything that's okay enough time is left enough time is left if you are somebody who was studying well before the postponement news and then you got completely derailed and now you have been struggling and now this question is bugging you again and again that i have already wasted so much time everybody is ahead of me it's too late no it's not late you have to let that thought sink it's not late you have got all the time in the world the the question is are you ready to start now now this is a very important thing we have already established that at stake is something huge something which is going to impact the rest of your life if if the stakes are so high shouldn't you be doing something that you have never done before in your life are you ready to give the performance of your life i i often repeat my story how i passed the entrance examination i have often told that i got just 40 days to appear for my pg entrance examination because i was in us i was preparing for usmle i dropped that idea i came back to india in december my exam was in feb first week i had got just 40 days why do i keep repeating about it i mean there are other good things that i have achieved in my life but time and again i go back to those 40 days because those 40 days were the best performance of my life before those 40 days i did not even know that i can study that hard and believe you me my dear students 
if i ask you what is your maximum capacity for studies some of you would say 10 hours some would say 11 hours some may say 12 hours but that is an understatement you don't even realize what is your real capabilities unless unless you start doing it unless you start performing at that level i never knew i can study more than 10 more than 10 hours a day but in those 14 days 40 days i consistently hit for 12 to hours of 12 hours 13 hours or 14 hours i was not even aware of that capability and so is the case with you you have to give the best performance of your life you have to study so hard that you end up surprising yourself you know that feeling after after you have studied 10 hours or 11 hours or 12 hours a day and then when you go to the bed that feeling of satisfaction is everything in life you do anything go on a date watch movies binge on a web series do anything that you want to do go on a road drive do anything that you want to do you will feel good maybe but when you go to bed after studying for 12 hours a day that feeling is the feeling of satisfaction that is what we have to crave for so my dear students again you have to give the best performance of your life you have to study so hard that you know you ask yourself this question that whoa i did not know that i could do this and when you do that you'll get the same response on the day of results you will be surprised that wow i never knew i could get this results what is my ask what am i asking you my ask is very simple a very simple rule we have to follow we are around 100 days from the examination i i would advise that you take a break break of one day every 10th or 11th day so we are left with around 90 days of study time in these 90 days you have to routinely clock 12 to 10 to 12 hours a day if you're in turn make it 5 to 8 hours a day that is doable maybe on the first day you will be able to study only for 8 hours or 7 hours but probably by the end of the month you would be clocking 11 hours routinely and maybe one month before the exam you may take it to 13 hours this much we can do 90 days let's say 10 hours or 11 hours we have got like 990 hours we have got like 1000 hours of study time and when i say 1000 hours of study time it means 1000 hours of study time opening the book opening the video and then thinking having daydreaming is not allowed scrolling on phone is not allowed 1000 hours means 1000 hours you should be using every single minute of course you would not immediately go to that peak level of concentration it develops gradually but you have to make all the efforts to keep the concentration as good as possible my ask is these 1000 hours from you 1000 hours is a huge amount of time if you think in in the term of hours please see please understand that these rapid revision videos they are usually of around 180 hours 190 hours even if we add mcqs even if we add grand tests we still have got so much time right you can do it like thrice or four times let's add btr see whatever resources we can add I'll, I'll discuss about the plan exact plan what can be followed but we have got thousand hours and if, if we do things properly we will end up doing two or three revisions time is not a problem time is not a constraint your readiness is a question are you ready to, to give these thousand hours and use these thousand hours properly if the answer is yes i can bet it on my life that you would get a greater rank so my ask is thousand hours and what do you get in return you get a md ms seat of your choice what i'm asking from you is not easy but what you'll be getting in return is something amazing at this point of time at this at this very moment i'll i just ask you to close your eyes and just visualize that college where you want to get into and the branch that you want to get into just close your eyes and just just imagine you are standing in front of mamc or aims or uh CGS, whatever, whatever college you want to get into, just imagine you are standing in front of that college uh, and just imagine yourself wearing a stethoscope and the apron and, and just try to feel that moment. If, if, you, if you do this thing for 30 seconds or 60 seconds, imagining yourself standing in front of that beautiful building, that great name, 
that great branch that great stethoscope that great lab coat and then try to feel you realize how badly you want it because we want to avoid pressure sometimes we want we we want to even shun away the dreams we don't even want to think about those things because we feel pressurized but the dream is there the desire is there by not thinking about it you can't shun it it will keep on coming but it will keep on making you feel guilty it will keep on pushing you to work harder listen to your inner voice listen to what your heart is telling you work hard to achieve that dream that is the only thing that will get you peace in life my dear students so now let's talk about the specifics how exactly to go about it all right now let's talk about some specifics what has to be the plan how exactly are we going to cover everything and revise it and finally get selected so basically what do we need we need these things we need to have a strong hold on the factual knowledge as as i said that in the pg entrance examination a, a good chunk would be on the facts at the same time if we try to memorize everything it would be very difficult so we need to have some amount of conceptual framework see what happens is if you have understood a topic better or if you have understood a topic properly remembering the facts become easier for example let me give you, let, let me uh, take an example from my uh, subject psychiatry say i tell you that uh, if you are patient is using close up in you have to do the anc and tlc monitoring in the first six months it has to be done once a week then once in two weeks then once a month and i ask you to memorize this thing second approach i tell you that one of the life threatening side effect of close up in is a granulocytosis and because of which we want to monitor the anc and tlc levels because the chances of this side effect keeps on decreasing with time the frequency of our monitoring also goes down now if you have that conceptual framework it becomes easier to remember the facts also and this is true for almost all the subjects so there has to be some conceptual backing of course we are just three and a half months away from the exam we cannot build concepts but small things like this would definitely help you so some conceptual form uh, framework strong hold on facts hold on the previous year questions you have to ensure that if a question comes from a previous year question or a previous year topic you do not get it wrong at all there has to be some practice of mcqs and of course grand test grand test and then this is very important whatever you study you have to ensure that you revise it at least twice before appearing for the exam and the last revision should be in last 10 15 days so this is the broad framework in which we have to study assuming that you are just starting or you are at a good level but then your studies got haywire and then you are trying to you know get back to the track now how do we go about it now now i'll be talking about how can you achieve these things using the cerebellum's platform if you are a student of cerebellum or if you want to become a student of cerebellum this is the plan that i propose so first two things conceptual framework and facts now if you look at what we call as quick revision videos basically it's the counterpart of rapid revision videos that all the platforms offer the quick revision videos of cerebellum they are of a total duration of 180 hours 180 hours of quick revision videos and if you remove the medicine from this which is of 48 hours it becomes something around 130 hours I want you to use quick revision videos to develop some kind of conceptual framework because quick revision videos do quick but but they are you know big enough to give you some amount of conceptual background add to that the btr videos now the btr by dr zainab has got two components one are the main btr videos and there is something called as bonus btr videos as the name suggests it is the addition now this main btr video is what i like a lot these are like just 45 hours but all the factual information and the information which is usually asked the pyqs all of that it is covered very beautifully by zainab ma'am so 45 hours of the btr videos bonus btr if you take care of the quick revision videos bonus btr videos uh, you may not even do or in case you want to do it becomes very easy right 
So this 180R plus 45 hours, which makes it 225 hours in case you are attempting medicine also. In case you do not want to do medicine, it goes, it becomes around 175 hours. Now, say you had, say you were following Cerebellum's live videos and you have covered, say one subject from the Cerebellum's live videos, mission 1.0 or 1.5. If that is the case, rather than using these quick revision videos, you can simply revise from there, right? Also, say if you have used some other platform for some of these subjects and you have a good hold on those subjects, then you can revise it from there. So basically some amount of conceptual framework plus the BTR. Now we said that we have got thousand hours with us for preparation. We need to study for 225 hours to complete all of this even if you say we take 250 hours or 275 hours still it's just one fourth of the time when you when you look at these all these things you know keeping the hours in mind the vision becomes very clear so this is the first thing you have developed some framework do you have developed a hold on facts but after completing all this you would not be able to remember everything of course right uh, that is why revision is very important so how do we revise now this is this video is primarily for students who are preparing for the NEET PG. I am not even targeting NICT. I am I'm talking about those students whose preparation was not going so great. In the first revision phase, now what you will do is now you will start following what is being done in Mission NEET PG NICT 1.5. So as of now for Mission NEET PG NICT 1.5 phase one is going on. In phase one, live lectures are being taken for all the subjects, and I think we are past halfway uh, in the phase one after the NICT examination on 19th may we will start with the phase two phase two what we will do you would revise and then there would be live test and discussion there would be live ENDs what we call as ENDs ENDs is exam and discussion the term that we use for test and discussion so from 21st of may till 22nd of june around one month we will be doing the live TND. So what I want you to do is revise the subject, appear for the live test and discussion, take the test, see the video discussion which will be done live and be done with that subject. Then move to the next subject. So this is this is an initial schedule. It might change a bit, but but roughly in one month starting 21st of May till like 21st of June, we will complete this first revision. So here you are getting some MCQ solving practice some mcqs you would always also be solving when you are doing the uh, quick revision videos and the btr those videos primarily cover you know i mean the approach is quite mcq uh, like only so you do cover some of the mcqs over there also here you do only the mcq thing and so we have reached 22nd of june and now our exam is like seven, uh, 15 days from 22nd of june it's on 7th of july right the third and the final round is like very intensive and and something which has given great returns to the students so we do what is called as marathons right we'll have something called as marathon neat pg and along with that zenab man will do it take some mega btrs i think the slide is slightly hazy but i think you can make out that in a span of around seven days starting day one day two day three day four day five day six day seven all the 19 subjects will be completed so and every teacher gets like four hour, five hour for bigger subjects like surgery, there may be eight, nine hours and medicine, but all the subjects are completed in a span of seven days. Now these marathon sessions are difficult. Why? Sitting and maintaining concentration for 10 hours a day, it's not easy, but because everything has made been made so concise and you know, uh, everything you are just absorbing in, in a short span of time right before the examination, it's extremely high yield. Uh, the marathon sessions that we had for INICT last time for FMG examination, students uh, got really benefited by it and it makes sense. It's very difficult for you as a student to, you know, uh, complete an entire subject in four hours. But say you are telling a legendary faculty like Vivek Jain sir or a legendary faculty like Gobind Rajagarh sir who have experience of 20 years to complete PSM in five hours, Pharma in four hours. Now they use all their experience to ensure that in those four hours or five hours, everything that you need to know, you get to know. And after the seven days, Zenamem usually takes three mega BTR sessions, again, three, four hours right before the examination. So the third phase where everything comes together right before the examination 
everything goes into a short term memory things are there in your long term memory and you are quite well equipped to face examination and of course during all this the gts would continue and then uh, you have to continue with your mcq uh practice focusing mostly on pyqs even even when you are doing these things uh the using quick revision videos or btr you have to do pyqs pyqs become more important than the q bank for somebody who is about to appear for the exam so students this is the rough framework of preparation now as you can see i am not i am not uh, just uh, saying things for the sake of it all of this is backed by data i have shown you how many hours are left i have shown you how much time you have to spend on different aspects and if you are already a student of ours of course just follow this if you are not you can become a student of us go to the website and uh, take this plan 1000 hours is more than enough 1000 hours is more than enough 900 hours is more than enough the plan that i have showed to you may be required like 750 hours or 800 hours so this is a very doable plan and trust me it's all about peaking at the right time you can continue studying for years and years but if you do not peak at the right time you lose the advantage so dear students we have already established that the stakes are high we have already established that enough time is left we have talked about a doable plan and just by looking at this plan you would be getting the feeling that this is something that i can do the question is the big question is are you ready to sacrifice everything are you ready to sacrifice everything that is going on in your life and study for 10 to 12 hours a day are you ready to push yourself are you ready to study so hard that you get surprised are you ready to do something that you have never done before in the life if the answer is yes my promise is that on the day of the result you would be messaging me and other faculties that sir i did it i got selected i'll be getting the branch of my choice and that would be the happiest day of your life and all this pain would appear worth it so stop wasting time my dear students stop let 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 yourself out of this whole frustrating bubble where you don't study and don't feel good about it take a step start it it can be done people have done it people do it every year and there's no reason why you can't do it may god bless you all all the best